Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. And this week on the Magic Roundabout, we've got the old uh, Dinky Toys, Austin 1800. As you can see, it's a bit battered, a bit play-worn, a bit scratched up. So we're going to give it a new lease of life and get it back to what it should be. Well, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do it as a taxi. I've got another one of these. Um... So I'll do that one as a taxi, but I just feel, I've just got the need, I feel the the need to do this one in a different colour. So we'll do this one a different colour. As you see, as you watch it go around, I'd just like to welcome any new friends of the channel. Welcome board, thank you very much. And uh, welcome back all the old friends of the channel. Well done, thank you very much. Right, let's get this off the magic, get it on a bench and have a good look at it. Here we are then, on the bench. Dinky Toys. McCarlo Limited, as usual. Austin 1800. There we go. Got the one post to drill out there. It's got smooth tyres on it. Should be treaded. It's got an opening boot. And an opening bonnet. That's the old uh, transverse engine in there. Quite a lot of these come in a mustardy type of colour. This is, this is a taxi. I'm, to be honest with you, I don't like it as a taxi. I think it should be a normal car. So we're going to dispense with all that. Like I said, I've got another one of these. And we'll um, do that proper. It's got the dual LED lights in there. So that'd be nice. Bit of detail on the grill. Doors don't open. Windscreen seems to be okay. Bit scratched up, but we might be able to sand that dry. Sand that dry. Sand it down. <laughs> Bumpers got a big tab in a pot, so yeah, I think we can uh, we can uh, bling this up a little bit. Okay, it's got an interior. It looks like a standard back form. Well, I don't know, it might be better than the back form. We'll have a look. Anyway, get the tools out. Get the tools out. Get this drilled out. Let's see what we got then, shall we? Yeah, just the one post at the back. It was quite a big one actually. Took a bit of getting off. So lift out little tab at the bottom there suspension it's all work it's that metal suspension it's pretty good stuff this so the front's a bit softer than the back that's only short distance between that grip and there so the back suspension is uh tighter than the front there's more length than there to there okay all right let's just whip these tires off because they're not supposed to be in there That's basically it. The hubs are in good condition. Base is okay. Yeah, we'll be able to get them off and clean them up. Usual format. Find the smallest head. It's usually the opposites. One's that side and one this side. So that's the smallest one there, you can see. And then this one, yeah, that's the smallest one there. All right, so that's not a problem. Let's look at the interior. Yeah, standard back form. Good condition, that. That's, that's one of the better ones. Because some of them are very, very flimsy and very zip, virtually see-through. This is a pretty good one, this one. So that's okay. That's good news. Right. Uh, window unit. Yeah, that window unit is not riveted in. So that's another good one. We're doing well today, boys. Bonnet. Just lifts off. It had to come out inwards like that, yeah. See that when you take it out because it's uh, pretty, I suppose. Look, <laughs> I'm telling you one way, and it bloody dropped out the other way. Well, that's about right, isn't it? So, yeah, it is a bit, uh, it's a bit tricky getting out of that way. So, you just push it forward if you or whatever, do whatever you want. And the back one, as usual, that's a bit tight as well. Lifts out. There you go. Just leaves these two then, so we'll push these out. Two, there you go, that's out. That's out. 
we'll fill them holes. We'll get it all stripped then. Yeah, I just didn't fancy the taxi idea, to be honest, be honest with you. Uh, you got to try and, yeah, these. Let's have a look. Um, boom, 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 boom. Trying to get these out of here. Sometimes it's uh, easier said than done. I'll just have a look, see if I can just manoeuvre them. They look a bit, yeah. I say that looked a bit knackered, that one. There it is there. It's there. Yes, no, I think it's usable. I think it's the gold come off the back of it more than anything else. If you're lucky, you can... Uh, they will just dig out. You get them at the edge, and they'll pop out. Well, this one's not going to, but... They will come out. If not, I'll stick it in a caustic and... Ah, I think it's cracking now. Here we go. Yeah. There it is. That's out. She's out. It's a little bit of residue at the back there. Because they get old and they crumble. Yeah, there you go. That's reusable. You can see. You can see at the top there. That's the glassy bit there. That's reusable. Just sometimes the backs where it's been glued in, the gold comes off because they like a gold leaf on the back of there. Gives it like that. You just see it there. Look that bit of gold there. That's what's sort of put on the outside of the back there. That gives it that tinge. So, yeah, we're good to go on that. That was okay. We're doing well with this one so far. Drop them in there so I don't lose them again. I'm ready for stripper. There you go. Alrighty. Yeah, got a bit carried away, yeah? Out the stripper. Not a problem, paint came straight off, even the white on the boot and the bonnet, which I thought I might have a bit of struggle doing. But yeah, come all right. So first thing I did, give it a wire brush. With this, I usually do them by hand, start off with. Uh, and then I finished off with this one. With this pencil tip. I'll call it pencil tip. That's to a worn down wire brush. Gets in all their little bits in here, all the nooks and the crannies and stuff. Yeah, there is some carton lines to remove on this one. Down there. A bit of muck and rubbish around this top corner here. And these a bit more of a clean up just in there, there. But apart from that, it's not too bad. This one's got recessed panel lines, which is nice to see the recessed ones rather than the the bold line yeah the details are nice on these older castings but the trouble is this like this drip rail around here they get so bad you know they get so many chunks and chips out of them so i like to go around there with the file and uh just gently smooth i don't want to i don't want to completely lose the drip rail but i want to smooth it out a little bit because it's it gets so badly chipped. If you look closer, you'll see what I mean. Like here. 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 You know, I mean, you can try and fill them, but you'll never get them to look right if you try to fill that. Because the filler will probably just fall out for a start off. And it's so, such a fine line. So what I like to do is try and get in as close as I can. And make it as smooth as you can. You know, try and get it to... Look right, it does sometimes work, but this is quite close because it's got the door frame and the drip rail are very close together here. But you get your thinner file and you get in there. It does make a difference, trust me, when the paint is on. Yeah, you say you'd never it's never gonna completely disappear because you'll uh, struggle you'll lose the line. The more you cut it back, the more you're taking off completely. He's trying to get it as 
So it looks right, if anything. Yeah, so that's what we're doing here. This pillar here as well, because it's got so many grooves in it. I do sometimes use this as well. I mean, it's mostly for plastic, but it's it's for doing panel lines on plastic, but it does help to get in there and just get some of the crap out and try and straighten it out a little bit. Give it a bit more definition where it's been bashed. See there where it's been, if you look closely, you can see where it's bashed there. You're never going to get it all out, but you can do your best. You really can. Yeah, so that's what we're doing at the minute. There's that casting line there. You can see close up there. Just there. So just filing around here. You see where it's disappeared there? Look, along that line there. And then it just peters out and disappears into a, there's a big lump at the end there. So that's got to come out. It's small stuff like that that makes a bit of a difference. That's all right around there. That's okay around there. There's a little lump there, but we can perhaps file that down a bit but one or two little nicks there but some of the paint will fill it in so i'm not overly worried about that I need to file that down there i don't mind filing filling's okay but filling small areas like that it very often drop out if you're not careful front is all right nice grill the chrome around here these do they did stretch out that chrome did stretch out onto that there both sides I need to run the file over there what I'll do with this is because they're there again you see they're getting bad just run the file over just to smooth them off a little bit give a bit more flat definition it's just that small amounts of tidying up will make a lot of difference surprisingly yeah you see that's a bit flat now time to get your dual headlight back in there I mean, Corgi and Dinky put a lot of effort into their into their into their moulding. I know a lot of it is covered up by the paint, but also when they get bashed about, when you got them as a kid, you just slam into the wall, slam into your mate's car. You know, it's it's road rage at a kids' level, isn't it? So it's a, it's not surprising they all get bent and broken. I mean, that's where the road rage must start when you when we're kids. But it's funny enough, you don't you never heard of road rage when we were younger, growing up. Really, I think we must have took it out in our cars, toy cars. But you see, they don't nowadays, do they? Take it out on real people instead. Yeah. So yeah, that's what we're working on at the minute. Here. I don't. I mix a bit of JB Weld up. Not on my card. A bit of plastic card. Mix it up. Push it in. Force it in. Push it into the moulds. And I'll put, put masking tape on the top. Because then pushing it up, I put two lots of masking tape on here. So uh, it should hold that. And when you peel it off, you should be reasonably smooth. I'm not saying it's going to be spot on, but it will be reasonably smooth. And the less filler you need on a roof on the outside, the better. So that's where we're at. That's where we're at, people. Old Woolsey, 1800, land crab. Yeah. Very similar to the Austin Maxi, followed by the Woolsey wedge shape. There we go. So I'm going to carry on. The rest of it's all cleaned up. I'm going to wait for this to dry now. I'm going to wait overnight. I'm not going to touch this now until tomorrow. And when that's come off, I'll uh, carry on clean up the rest of the casting. And then we'll get it in some primer and some paint. There you go. Okay, let's get the tape off this and see what's happened with the JB weld. See if it's worked out. Okay, let me just shift this out of the way first. Let's see, see what we're doing. <coughs> right, we're all cleaned up apart from that. So, let's have a look. It's been overnight. So let's pull her off and see what happens. Oh, there you go, that's not so bad. That's pretty good. 
There's a, just wants a bit of sanding on there. And it wants cleaning underneath here. That won't be so hard to get all that out underneath there. Give it a lot of rubbing. Yeah. Yeah, don't want much to get that out of there. Just smooth it all off. Okay. So what we're going to do, just going to give it a light rubbing on here. Not too much. And hopefully, I'm going to put some primer on and then we'll see where we are with that. You'll probably see the round indentations, but what I might do is put some uh, automotive body filler and rub that down to see if I can disguise it. But yeah, that's smooth enough. I'm not putting hardly any pressure on letting the paper do the work. Yeah. Don't feel too bad actually. You never know to put primer on, dear. Okay, we'll put some primer on and see what happens. Okay, just show you this quickly. It's still drying. It's not lacquered or anything like that. It's just had two coats of top coat. But as you can see, the holes disappeared. It looks orange to the camera, but it's not. The colour I've actually gone for is an old Rover colour. Sand Glow. Rover Sand Glow. Austin Rover cover. It always looks orange on here. It's orangey colour, but it's not, trust me. I've seen quite a few of these land crabs like this in his colour. Because the first time when I saw this, I thought, yeah, that's the colour I'm going to do it. It's it's like a mustardy colour, sand glow. Yeah, so that, that was pretty good repair on the top there. Yeah. You might be able to see it faintly, but I'm no bodywork expert, so yeah. So that's gonna let, I'm going to let that harden up for a few days before I get on the lacquer with it, okay? Yeah, trust me, it's not orange. Alrighty then, let's get some details painted on the old girl. Ready to go. Yep, grill, silver, in there, bumpers, indicators, the usual format. I always like to try and I'll just shift this out of the way before I stick my elbow in it. I've got my paint and paint palette nearby, so I just want to stick my elbow in it. Right. Let's get on then. I was going to give the grill a light. I don't want it too thick in here because I'm going to put a black wash in there on this one. They had a couple of different different grills on these uh, Austin 1800s. If you look on Google Images, you'll see there's different grills. I think there's only two. On here. There you go, you're nice and smooth through there. Nice and steady, Eddie. Nice and steady. And he's in the number, number three brush. This is nothing special, this brush. Of course, you get what you pay for. 
obviously, these days. You do, you get what you pay for. Now this has been sat for a, a good week whilst I've been away. I've just come back every day and I'm just familiarising myself with my surroundings when you've been away for a while. Yeah, the paint should have hardened off nicely. I think what we're looking at now, um, at the weekend, Easter weekend, I think the clocks go in the UK anyway. Changing the clocks. Again. The British summertime begins. Yeah, with these type of grills, you need to keep looking in different directions to make sure you've... Uh, Filled in, filled it in properly. Because you think you have, and then you turn it around and think, oh, I missed that bit. So I just keep turning it around. I've got a flipping brushes split there. Let's go, it winds me up when it's split, don't like it. Excuse me for sniffling. Yeah, just nice and steady. I think the grill is the most, to me, it's the face of the car, isn't it, really, the grill. you got a good-looking grill. you got a good-looking car. I think a grill makes a car, anyway, even the real car, if you look at it, come up behind you in your rear view mirror. Go. Spin around, have a look at the front. Yeah, there we go. Now we're getting it. Now it looks like a car. Okay, right. I'm going to carry on then. All around it because he had big chrome pieces coming out of the side of these headlights, like that. If you look, that's why it's shaped like that. That was all chrome there, chrome there, chrome bumper. Indicators and side lights there and there. Yeah, we're going to get on with that. And I'll catch you when we're done. Okay, all the painting and details are done. Here we look at it. Got the dual red lights back in. I had to change one of them, this one. Because uh, you'll get that now and again. You'll get one which is quite a bit duller than the other. They, they, were, they were mismatched, so I had to sort through and get one which was correct. Yep, so we've got the dual headlights in, got your indicators. 
a little touch of a side light because there are two different sorts of indicators on here. Uh, somewhere a, a small angle like this, which had a small side light on the inner and the indicator, and those side repeaters. They did have side repeaters on here, but there's no, there's nothing molded on that one. Number plate, D reg. Put engine, bit of engine detail in. I just basically blacked it out and put a bit of a dry brush on the top of that. The door handles, back bumper, back lights, and that's it for that. And there's the there has a scoop on the front here, so I blacked it out inside there. Put a chrome strip and the badge there, which was basically. A uh, little bit of black Austin sign on chrome, so we've done that. I didn't black the grill out on this one. I changed my mind. I thought it looks a bit brighter, so I left it unblacked. This one, see how we get on. Boot. Got a chrome strip across there. So we're all ready. Oh, and I've done the, uh, I put the wheels back in, put new tyres on it. Okay, same procedure, I've done it before, just paint them over, just make sure you put, forget to put your axle underneath the springs, I've done that before and I forgot to put them the right way around, they really have, so yeah, that's your front steering as you can see, goes up and in to steering, alrighty, back number plate on. So, I'll get the magic carpet out, and we'll get it together. We will get it together. Uh, I think I'll get my missus, give these a bit of a wash. It's a bit mucky, this one. They get muddy, don't they? So, there we go. Yeah, it still looks a bit orangey in his camera. Uh, I'm not about to find out from somebody out on these on these phones whether you can get the colour right it's it's showing up like an orange but it's not the more you closer you get the worse it looks but no it's not it's sanglo anybody knows what sanglo is they'll know uh the only i suppose the only way i could get away with it is put it outside but it's now it's raining out there so i'm not going to do that but yeah it is it's more a mustardy colour yeah anyway let's get it together should be straight, fairly straightforward. This time we'll put the bonnet in first. <laughs> oh dear, dear, here we go. We put the bonnet in there because the window glass, this part, this part of the window holds the bonnet in place. Okay, like so. There you go. Like that. We'll sling the boot on. Hopefully it'll stay in place. I didn't bother painting the interior. I thought I'd leave that as is. Now with this one, that back piece slides in the back behind there. And then, hopefully, it will... If it's gone correctly, it should fit down nicely. Looks like it's gone all right. Can't see anything different there. You can tell <coughs> by just behind that tyre. I'll take that tyre off. You can just see where the engine, bottom of the engine, is hitting the top of the chassis, so you know that's down together, like so. Like that, you can just see it through there. So, yeah, so now we'll uh, check the other side, make sure that's the same. Yeah, you can just see it, there's that bit sitting on there. Right, so we'll get some super duper on here now, it? Get the rivet in, what have we done with the rivet? Oh, flipping it, I bet it's rolled away, isn't it? Oh no, there it is. I thought it rolled away for a minute. I thought it rolled away. Yeah. 
Let me just check something here. It's a little bit on the... That's okay. That's alright, that's alright. That's sitting there, okay. It just it just felt a little bit old spongy, a bit springy. Yeah, that's all right, it's got it. It's a bit of super duper in it. Pick up with the plants there. I've got a different rivet this time. I've got quite a few of these uh, knock-in rivets. But I've got to use them up, so I'll use them on here. There you go. Right, let that draw off a bit. And then we're in. Next time you'll see it, it'll either be on the magic or outside the garage. Not sure yet. This is what we started with. Dinky Toys Austin 1800. Or Land Crab as they would call them. As you can see, all scruffy and play worn. So, see what we've done with it. Have a look at this and see what you think. Feast your eyes on this bad boy. Here we are then, all done and dusted. The old Austin 1800. Here we go, my dinky toys. I've done some uh, outside shots, well not outside shots, I've done some photos outside the garage. It's raining outside so I can't do any outside shots at the minute. So yeah. Yeah, it's quite nicely turned out this one. X taxi yeah it's quite nice sand Austin 1800 well I'd just like to thank everybody for watching and before I go just make sure you have a look at the photos outside the garage see if you like them look forward to your comments and I'll see you all again next week with something else Take care of yourselves and be lucky. Above all, be happy. And we'll see you later. Bye for now. Don't forget photos outside the garage.